Good morning, and welcome to this edition of Raider Review. On this de Friday, December 8th, I'm Bryn Afton. And I'm Dante Constable. On Thursday, November 9th, the musical cast went to Pine Creek Elementary to give the first and second graders a sneak peek of the show, as well as meeting the cast of the play. Here are the sights and sounds from this fantastic day. Hi, I'm the Mad Hatter, and I'm here for Brookville Area School District talking to Donkey and Shrek. So, Shrek, could you tell us a little bit about what we did today? Well, we came here to the school to perform part of our show for the little kids. It was fantastic. So, Donkey, could you tell me a little bit about the second part of today's little performance? Yeah, we went and we colored with all the little kids. It was so cute, and it was so nice. They gave me so many pictures, but then they also read on the other side. I didn't really get to read because I don't have thumbs, and I forgot how to read, but, but it was all fun. Can you tell us a little bit of the history of the um, performers coming over and characters to the other schools? Sure. Well, this is actually our sixth year doing this, and we bring our lead characters and some of our ensemble cast as well. Six years ago, we started it with Beauty and the Beast being our first year, and it was really a family-oriented show, and so we felt that um, most of the primary students would know who Belle and the Beast were and really enjoy it, and it took off, and we, we really found that um, these students specifically love to see this and they are transformed into the world of live theater and so you can really entertain them. We could have probably done the full show and had zero problems with them. I'm here with Joel Burton. Joel, what is your favorite part about the Shrek performance? When Donkey sings. I'm now here with Cody Householder. Cody, what is your favorite part? Whenever we get to go on stage. I'm now here with Lenny Ferrero. What is your favorite part about the Shrek performance? Singing. The kids really enjoyed this experience and were smiling ear to ear the whole time. Recently, we have focused a lot of attention on the school's musical. This is because it's the 50th production here at Brookville. To tell you more about the inner workings of the show, here's cast member Adler Fleming. This is Adler Fleming with TV18 News here in the Brookville Auditorium that is currently empty as you can see but it will be filled in roughly five hours of young and old to very old audience members tonight. To hear more about this amazing 50th year production of Shrek the Musical, don't just hear it from us, hear it from the people behind the scenes. Hello everyone, my name is Mickey Truman. I'm very fortunate to be this year's acting director or drama director of the musical Shrek, our 50th production. Um, for us, the process began at the end of last year when Miss Owens made the selection for the musical. And that then process for creating the world of Shrek started in the summer. We started our work in July. We met with the set designer, the costume designer, the business manager to create a scheme. We talked with Mrs. Wrights, our costumer, about all the different characters that needed um, what, what that world looked like, what those costumes looked like, and what they needed to look like when they were on stage. Really important, and um, the idea of musical, for me at least, is really important because it's kind of like your second family. and sometimes they can get on your nerves and sometimes they can be the best people you've ever met but this is the most this is honestly the best cast ever. I'm Elliot Wingard and I am playing Genji in our production of Shrek this year. Um, Shrek is a very important musical because there are so many people. We have over 70 people it, just from, from the high school in the cast since last year was such a family-friendly musical, we decided to do it again since so many people came. And we figured since our 50th, we wanted as many people to come as possible. And we also want to get the little kids interested because without more kids standing up, we're not going to have a musical. Shayna! <laughs> My name is Deanna Owens and I am the vocal director of this year's musical, Shrek. This year we are celebrating the past, the present, and the future of our musicals here at Brookville. We have 72 students that are going to be performing on the stage. We have five students that will be performing as musicians in the pit. And we have six to eight students that will be helping us uh, backstage and in um, the nest doing lights and sound. A special thank you goes out to the cast, the crew, the pit, everybody involved, especially the administration and the school board that makes this all possible. But the most important thing goes out to the wonderful audience that I know we will have tonight. This is everything here for the 2017 musical that is Shrek. We would like to send it back to the studio. Thank you. Thank you, Adler, for that exclusive information about the musical. And thank you to the musical cast and directors. 
On October 5th, 2017, Bryn and I went to Hickory Grove, where the third grade class of Mrs. Amsler had the chance to Skype Hurricane Harvey victims and then more about their stories. It really was an amazing day for all the people involved. On October 5th, 2017, Mrs. Ambler's third grade class had the opportunity to talk to Hurricane Harvey victims of Houston, Texas. The kids and staff also worked together to write notes to them and collect books to send back with them. Here are some Skype highlights from this day. Anxious to hear about your experience the last few weeks in Houston, Texas. Happy that you are safe. That is what is important. We care about you, your friends, neighbors, and families. We think about Houston and Florida every morning during our mo moment of silence. We saw your school website and your family emergency fund for food pantry support. And it is so nice that your school is collecting food and other stuff to help those people affected by the storm. We wanted to help out too, so we hope that you really enjoy these books we collected for you. We will be mailing them next week. If you do not need them, please share them with kids that do need some books. We also wrote some notes to cheer those people up who were affected by the hurricane. Hopefully, you can share them with others. Okay, the third grade teachers, we wanted to do something to help the hurricane victims in Texas and Florida. So we had some discussions and we talked about food and diapers. And after talking with some people close to people that were affected by the hurricane, they told us they were getting an abundance of those kinds of necessities. And so we decided maybe books would be a good idea because a lot of the students were losing things that were important to them. So we decided to do a book drive and the third graders have been donating books. You can see them behind me. And then we wanted to keep it close to home. So we asked our faculty, we asked our staff here at Brookville if they knew of anybody personally that was affected by these disasters. And that's how we came up with Kip Elementary from Houston and Memorial Elementary from Florida. Mom couldn't get back to his house and he was missing his mom for like a week. I thought it was really cool because like I would I'm I just sort of want to know how it is to feel like a hurricane is happening. Once again, you just give us a call, okay? Yeah. Skype has a lot of potential to give Brookville students an opportunity to connect with kids around the country and around the world. Amazing story if you were in the room that day. It really was a moment that gave you the chills for kids that young to be caring about others so much at such a young age. Future is bright in the Brookville area. Here, we, next we will be looking at this year's window painting where over 70 7th through 12th grade students participated in painting Main Street windows with Halloween paintings. And here's a video looking at all the student painters and some of the adults in our community. Sir, what did you paint this year? We painted Snoopy again because we painted him last year. Did you change anything about it? Yes, we changed a lot. We took out two characters and made him a mummy instead. How do you feel about um, the window painting in town? Well, I think it's fantastic. It kind of gives a tourist and everybody around town a sense of Halloween and community spirit. And I think it's a great thing. Mel, how do you feel about the window painting? I love the window painting. This window painting dates back, gosh, years and years. I remember this being a highlight when I was in high school. I think that this right here is history and it's memories and I think it's just fantastic. Mrs. Hewlett, how do you feel about window painting? Oh, I love it. It's one of the best traditions that we have on Main Street in Brookville. We've been working down here years and years, my whole career, um, painting the town. 
if it's something to look forward to. It's a great way to showcase our talented artists that we have here at VHS. How do I feel about the window pane? It's a tradition, man. We've done, they've done it since I was in school. I think probably even farther back. I love it. I think it's fantastic for the town. It gets the kids out of, uh, you know, school for a day, and they get to interact with the business owners, which is a big deal. That can't be, uh, that kind of, the value of that can't be underestimated. So. Ryan, how are you having fun today? Uh, a little bit. It's kind of chilly, so. Warming up though, so it's not that bad. What'd you do to stay out of the elements this morning? I went in and got some coffee, and then I uh, got a blanket and sat in the sun. Now, did you do this, create this painting, or are you helping someone? I'm helping my uh, girlfriend, Jillian Taylor. What did she create? An eyeball. Very nice. Well, it looks like all the time we have today, folks, and I'm... This year's window painting first place went to Emily Kramer, second place went to Clayton Miller, and third place went to Zoe Ross. Overall, it was a wonderful day, and congrats to all the painters. That's our report for this Friday, December 8th, 2017. Our floor director today has been Aaron Briggs, technical director was Madison Beatty, and audio was engineered by Adler Fleming. Be sure to watch for our upcoming highlight reels from Homecoming 2017 next week. Until then... Thanks for watching, and I'll leave you with this quote from my hero, Mrs. Nancy Miles. Have a great Blue Raider day.